Thanks for clicking on the video. This is my LS1 that I'm building from scratch to put into my Lexus IS300. And along the way, I'm just trying to make some helpful videos. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about some budget LS accessory brackets uh, from ICT Billet. I'm going to be mounting up the alternator, which is going in the traditional F body location, which is down here in the corner. Power steering pump is going to be up top. Um, for this application, I'm going to I'm able to get away with just F body um, accessory locations. You you've basically got three options. You know, you've got the Corvette accessories, which sticks everything closer to the block. F body was you know somewhat in the middle. Still pretty shallow, but it's in the middle compared to the truck accessories. Truck stuff is just really far out there. It's really hard to get truck accessories to fit in a lot of swaps because it sticks so far out and hits the radiator or cooling fans, whatever's up here. And um, another reason you might need LS1 accessories is if you have to run a car intake manifold because with the truck water pump, it it's actually sits higher and it would interfere with the throttle body. So if you need an, a car intake manifold, which is short, you know, compared to the tall truck ones, um, a lot of people need to run that to clear the hood. You have uh, clearance issues with the hood. So if you need a car manifold, you need car accessories. Simple as that. You can't mix truck accessories with the cars because the offset of the pulleys would be far off. But anyways, let's get into it. I'm going to start off with the alternator brackets. It's uh, it's really straightforward. It's, there's really nothing to it. So let's get into it. So for the alternator brackets, this is the main piece of it. It's sort of like a T. And the outer the pulley actually bolts up right here. I went ahead and installed that already. So you've got your main mounting bolt and this really long spacer. So this is the only bolt that doesn't actually go through the alternator. This is just, you know, strictly a mounting bolt. And that's going to go right here in this bolt hole right here. So I'm going to get that started. And your other two bolts that are here are... Hold on one second. Let me just run that in a little bit. not too tight so that we can have some uh, wiggle room in there to line stuff up so so your other two bolts they go through here actually go through the alternator and thread into the block here and here let me grab the alternator and those bolts oh and also this little like one inch long spacers that sit between the alternator and the block um, so it goes bolt alternator spacer block let me show you so we can go ahead and start off with the top bolts. Uh, something like this. So it's going to go through the alternator. And then your spacer is going to go right here. The bolt's going to go through the spacer and into the block. Just like that. Nothing to it. You give that a little zap so it stays in place. Oops, that is taking it out. Damn it. This is going to get interesting. Okay. All right, not too tight so that we can move it around. Let me grab the other bolt and the other spacer. All right, so the bottom bolt is the same thing. Just bolt through the alternator, and you're going to stick the spacer between the alternator and the block. And exact same thing. It's really easy. Nothing to it. No, I guess I can, you know, actually put a little bit of torque into it. I always like to go over um, it by hand and not just rely on this. Stuff like this, I probably wouldn't torque over like maybe 20 foot pounds anyway. I'm sure it's in the instructions, but I'm too lazy to read it. Okay, so we're not done yet. So it actually comes with this bracket that goes from the block to the back of the alternator. Because the alternator is actually threaded back here to accept the bolts. So we've got this 13 millimeter that mounts the bracket to the block like this and then you've got your 10 millimeter that goes through the uh, bracket and threads into the back of the alternator so i can go ahead and snug that up need a 10 millimeter for this one and there we go i guess i can go ahead and plug in the alternator this harness has been a whole nother animal that's going to be another video that I'm working on down the road. I'm not quite wait, ready to put that one out, but it's coming. Plug in the alternator just for, you know, feel like it's done. Okay, so now uh, alternator bracket is in place. Out of the pulley. Now we can start working on the power steering pump bracket and installing the pump. So before we 
install the bracket we got to put this plate in there and this plate sits right here it basically just you know it enables the power steering pump to mount in the factory f body location and it's got some holes that are uh tapped here to accept the bolts that actually uh mount the pump let's get this installed it'd probably be a good idea to lock tight these bolts here but this video is just to kind of show you um how good this stuff is and how easy it is to work with i think it's like a eight millimeter hex and these bolts are designed to sit flush in the plates so there's no interference so yeah when you tighten these they should sit nice and flat yep all right so from here we can start to install the bracket so just like the alternator bracket, there's one main bolt that goes through the plates and threads into the, in this case, it actually threads into the plates, not the block itself. And then the other two bolts go through the pump and thread into the back of the plate. Um, so let's set something like this and get that started. And it's designed in a way to where you can install the pump easily. It's notched out like that so the pump can go straight down. It's like they really thought of making the you know person working on this their life easier to remove and install the pump which is really cool so from here we can actually grab the pump and just install it as a unit so your factory pump actually comes with a really big solid plastic uh, pulley not like this obviously this actually has holes machined into it so you can access the mounting bolts and it's also metal versus plastic I've actually seen what a factory plastic pulleys can explode. It's like shrapnel going off in your engine bay. But uh, yeah, I did a little bit of research and I came across this cheap Dorman pulley. It was only like 20 bucks. I'll link that out in the description. Um, as well as the pump and alternator and brackets. I got all this stuff off Amazon. If you're interested in checking that out, uh, just look in the description. Everything will be down there. So since this pulley has the holes to access the bolts, I can install and remove as a unit otherwise I would have to do the pump first and then the pulley afterward and vice versa if I needed to remove the pump I would have to remove the pulley just to get to the bolts and then the pump but having these holes to access the bolts just makes it so much easier just go ahead and slide it in place and kind of turn the pulley over to line up the holes And all the hardware for the pump bracket is going to be 10 millimeters. You've got that one there. You've got a second long 10 millimeter on this side. And it goes through the pump and threads into the back of the plates. And then you get your final 10 millimeter, and this actually goes through the plate and threads into the pump itself. And that's it it's only three bolts to mount the pump that's installed alternator is installed let's uh, get some b-roll and get a closer look at this stuff all right thanks for making it to the end of the video if you liked it uh, don't forget to drop a like subscribe uh, if you have tips or tricks or like you know if you would have done something better uh, just comment below let me know I'm always open for, you know, tips and tricks and, you know, different ways of doing things. Um, yeah, I need a, I'm trying to forget to link everything out as far as the brackets, you know, the alternator, the pump. Uh, believe it or not, most of the stuff has just come from Amazon. It's crazy the amount of stuff we can get on there now. But yeah, if you want to follow this build, if you're interested in seeing an LS swapped IS300, uh, subscribe and tag along. Hope you liked this video. See you in the next one. Later.